I'm back. It's my third Facebook Live. If you happen to be joining this, um, this moment with me live on Facebook, give me some thumbs up. This is my third one. I am so not techie. Anybody that knows me knows that this is a huge stretch for me. So um, show me some love. Show me some love in the comments below. Anyway, thank you all again for reaching out and giving me so much encouragement and, and interest in the sort of backstories I'm sharing with you. Um, I got a lot of interest about the book. So people said, well, ha what made you decide to write a book? H how did you even do it? Why did you do it? Um, so you'll see a copy behind me. Here's a copy of the book called Smart Moves, How to Save Time and Money While Transitioning Your Home and Life. Folks, I have to tell you that when we left off yesterday, it was still in 2005 when I first started the company. And yesterday we really took a deep dive in the first project, which was so fun. I'll never forget it, my, my house with the three front doors. Um, in any event, fast forward to about 2018, we had steadily been building the company, um, increasing the teams that we had so that we could service more, um, so that we could service more properties at the same time. And I was getting pretty frustrated. We were so busy, but I was getting pretty frustrated because we were having to turn down business in different areas of the country where people would reach out by email and say, hey, I live in Akron, Ohio. You know, can you, can you help me? Um, again, being the non-techie, I was not familiar with Zoom and, you know, how I could do a consultation on Zoom. And I was actually, being the early bird that I am, you know, for many, many years, for about 14 years, I woke up at 4.30 on the dot every single day before my kids got up and I had to interact and get them off to school. And um, that was my quiet time with my cup of coffee. And, I, and that's when I would do you know, my studying, both in my area, but learn how to craft my you know, message to reach more sellers, to empower them. And I was actually taking a course um, by Brendan Bruchard. I don't know if you guys know him, but he is amazing. Um, and Brendan Bruchard, the course that I was taking was all about the different ways that you can share your message. Um, and so I was very interested in this. And one of the different ways, you know, he was talking about creating online courses and, and you know, um, writing a book. And I thought to myself, okay, well, this method that we've developed at this point over the last 13 years, we had serviced about 1800 properties. So we were doing incredible amounts of business. We had a tremendous reputation in the DC, Maryland, Virginia area. But again, we were limited by our geographical location. And so I was looking at the different options he was offering. And he said, you know, write a book. And I thought, I could do that. You know, big picture thinker that I am. Remember I told you yesterday, I was imagining this fleet of white vans, which we ended up having. Uh, having. <clears throat> and I thought, I can just see the book right there. I, I, I can see it in my mind. And I'm going to reach these homeowners wherever they live and share with them this unique Smart Moves method that we've developed that really upends everything we know about the way that we approach the sale of our home and the move. Because typically what we do is we get our home ready to sell and then we worry about the move. And that's the exact wrong way to approach this for a seller. It might work for a realtor because they wanna get that house on the market, you know, ASAP, but it's definitely not in the seller's best interest to approach it that way. And the Smart Moves Method combines the two. So you're actually assessing and preparing and updating, you know, cosmetically updating your house as you're sorting through all of your household goods. 
So at the, the end of this process, you are 60% packed to move. And what that means to you as a home seller is that you are in a very strong negotiating position, okay? Because you have already done all the hard work. That's all behind you, right? You're 60% packed to move. So you can accept a cash offer with a quick close. Whereas had you not done any of this, you'd say, oh my God, 30 day close, there's no way I can be ready. So anyway, the only problem I had was I couldn't write. I'm not a writer. I'm a talker. Again, anybody that knows me knows that I've built a business interacting with my clients and, and, and talking. Um, I'm a very visual person. So I thought writing a book, okay, well, I can write a book, but how do I actually describe this method step-by-step, step, which again, logical person, I think in a systematic way, but how do I describe it so that home sellers can really follow it to, to do it in their own homes, in their own lives? But typical of me, I had already picked a launch date. Um, I'm very good with deadlines. So I had picked a launch date, March 5th of the following year. I remember sitting at my desk thinking, okay, it might be crazy, but it might just work. So I, I picked a date. I could see it in my mind. And I decided I was going to write a book. So as I was doing a project with someone who I absolutely loved, you know, you chat during projects. When you're in people's business um, and you're, we were actually packing at the time, which I normally don't do. My teams were doing it, but I loved this client and I had stopped by to say hi. And, you know, we were just chatting a little bit and I told her that I had made the decision to write a book. And she said, you know, you really need to talk to my best friend. She is a, an editor and writes books for, you know, all these well-known people. Well, I didn't know anything about book editing, um, but she said, you know, I'm going to put you two in touch. Let's, you know, have you guys talk. And I talked to this woman and just just loved her she was lovely she you know showed me you know sent me links to books that she had written she was also an author in her own right and had written many many books um young adult books that were very successful and i thought oh my god this is the answer to my prayers because i i don't know how to write i get tripped up if it's not perfect i i, I stress and then i just don't do it and it's very frustrating for me so when I talked to her and I found out that for her editing to get the book written, produced, which she was only one of the many expenses I was gonna be faced with, which again, I had no idea, kind of felt like my sellers not knowing what to expect and you know using hope as a strategy. And she explained that normally her fee was $50,000. I just about, fell off my chair. That was huge. That was a huge amount of money to invest. But I believed in the process because I had, you know, seen it work, you know, over these many 1800 clients. And I truly believed that it was the next step in the business to be able to reach clients who were outside of our geographic location. So I dipped into the line of credit and signed the contract. Now, the way that we got around my inability to kind of talk, uh, my inability to write, was that she said, we are going to have 10 sessions during which we're gonna follow your outline. I was responsible to create the outline, which was great for me. Because again, organized in thought, organized in deed. Um, I had my deadlines and she said to me, we are gonna talk by phone and you are just going to talk. And from that, I will create chapters in order in your voice. I thought, I can talk all day long. This is going to be a total bonanza for me. This is awesome. And at the end, I'm going to have a book, right? This is awesome. So we spent the summer and we had our 10 sessions and I was organized and it was awesome. 
And then she said, okay, your first chapter is going to be due. I think there were like 12 chapters planned. Okay. As per the outline. And she said, the first one will be due to you October 1st. You'll review it, make a few tweaks. Um, and as I complete the chapters, I will return it to you. And I thought, this is amazing. So I did my part um, and I did it on time. I did exactly what I was supposed to do. Well, October 1st comes and goes. October 6th comes and goes. And I'm thinking of my launch deadline in March, that if this doesn't all go according to plan, it's going to push back everything else. I was getting a little worked up about the missed deadline because in my business, deadlines are critical. And the only time I've ever missed a deadline in 15 years, it was as a result of a seller making a decision to push something back. It was not as a result of something I failed to do because deadlines were very important to me and important in this business. So I got back the first two chapters toward the end of October. Guys, I wanna tell you, I was so excited. When I saw that email that these two chapters were ready for me to review, I just about bust a gut. I was so excited. Here was gonna be, you know, my, my words, my ability to help change the way sellers were, were looking at packaging their homes and moving. And they were, I was going to save them thousands and thousands of hours of, of needless you know, research on the internet because I had compiled it for them, all the shortcuts, everything they need to know. And I did it in my voice, which is very short to the point. Here's what you need to know. Here's why you need to do, you know, here's why you need to know it and nothing else. No fluff, no, no must, just this is what you need to do and why. I also knew that they were guaranteed to save thousands and thousands of dollars because I told them how. I gave them every tool in the book. I literally compiled you know, at that point, you know, 1,800 plus files and about 1,500 hours of research to be able to make sure that the best of the best of the best was included in the book. Anyway, so I was really excited. I had my cup of coffee. It was the morning. I opened up the first chapter. And I literally started crying as I was reading. My friends, it read like a rom-com novel. It was a joke. It was, it didn't even sound like me. I, I, didn't, I didn't even know, I didn't even know what to do. I was so scared that I couldn't do this by myself. Now I was two feet in. I had already paid, you know, half, $20,000. And this person who was the expert had taken my words and made them like a fun story. Well, anybody who understands how to successfully transition from one house to the next understands that time and money is at stake. There's nothing funny about it. And sellers, need to be prepared since it's their responsibility their asset they need to be prepared to understand that things will go sideways and they need to have at the ready exactly what they're going to do when it does and i had all those answers teed up but somehow this story now read like a like a novel the examples that i used even changing the names to protect the privacy of my sellers read like they were supposed to be funny. They weren't funny. These were actual live examples of, of the way sellers are, you know, overconfident and undereducated and the mistakes they make that leave money on the table time and time and time again. I was devastated. I was literally devastated. Not only was it late, it didn't even sound like me. 
So I had a team meeting with my other design, you know, managers, and we sat around and, and one of them, Karen Kelleher, I will love her to my dying day, said to me, we are going to have to take each chapter and literally pull it apart and reconstruct it. My friends, it took us almost six weeks to do that because every other chapter that came in was written in the same way. My voice was unrecognizable. I had no idea that there were different types of editors. Um, shows you how naive I was. In any event, the, the rest of the story plays out that we were able to rewrite all the chapters. We were then able to get a cover designed to do everything else that I had no idea about that it would take to actually get a book from, from an idea, from conception, onto the bookshelves. And I wanna tell you, that this book almost didn't make it. It almost didn't make it. We were two weeks late uh, in my own personal goal of getting it on the shelves on Amazon because I was self-publishing. I didn't want to wait two years to shop it to a publisher. This information was critical for my sellers now. Here's what I learned $80,000 later. What I learned was that my voice is strong because my information is sound. It's based on data. It's based on over 2,000 files of sellers that I've worked with. And the way that we've created success for each of them and their realtors, it was a tremendous accomplishment to finally see this on Amazon. It's part of a movement that's growing. It's a little bit like a cult favorite. Um, I hear from sellers far and wide who are so grateful for this book. They have no idea how difficult it was to actually get it from this big harebrained idea I had that I wanna change the way sellers view the sales and move process to put them in the driver's seat. But I'm happy to let you know that it has received several awards, one from Goodreads as a reader's favorite, and it's available on Amazon. So I wanted to share that story with you because as you continue to build a business as I have done, you need to continue to find new ways, hence my Facebook Live, um, new ways to reach your target market, which for me are sellers, home sellers. And because there is no one else who has their back that doesn't have their hand in their back pocket, meaning is compensated financially, because I'm not a realtor, I work with them, but I'm not a realtor, it was an incredible accomplishment for me to be able to get this book on the bookshelves so it's available to sellers today. So that's my story from Friday afternoon, a cloudy day in South Florida. And I am really excited that I'm still trying to figure out this Facebook Live. But if you're enjoying these stories and if there's something in particular that i've shared with you over the past three facebook lives that you'd like to hear more about you know leave it in the comments below give me some love give me some thumbs up there's so much about home transition selling your home you know knowing how to package your home to sell fast for top dollar and moving there's so much of it that can send you sideways and, and educating yourself as a homeowner is the key to not only selling it fast for top dollar, but to creating a smooth transition 
for yourself and your family. This is a very stressful, life-changing event, but it doesn't have to be. So my friends, I'm gonna to refer to you now as smart movers because I'm hoping some of you will go out and get the book if you're planning to sell. And as always, I appreciate your support. Thanks so much, friends. See you later. Bye-bye. Cheers.